Welcome to Helping Hands at Chagin. In this edition, we'll be focusing on how to read volume. Volume is defined as how much space an object takes up. There are two ways to measure volume. In solids, we use a ruler to measure volume. We do so by finding the width, length, and height and multiplying them together. So in this case, I found out that the width of my pursuit force is 10.3 centimeters, the length is 17.5 centimeters, and the height, how tall it is, is about 1.4 centimeters. Now as you notice, I multiply them together, I get 252.35. Now afterwards, I have a unit, centimeters cubed. That is because I multiplied centimeter by centimeter by centimeter. So that's three times, so it's centimeters cubed. You always have to put your unit. Now the other way to measure volume is if you have a liquid. Liquids are not solid, so we cannot use a ruler. Instead, we have to use a beaker. Okay, now when measuring liquids, you have to find the meniscus. What the meniscus is, is it's a dip in the liquid because a liquid does not stay flat it kind of has a curve to it if you look at my eyedropper you'll notice that it's higher on the sides and a little lower in the middle that's my meniscus okay now when measuring volume in a liquid you're gonna use a beaker as we already said but you're gonna have a different unit when measuring liquids, we measure in liters, okay? Now, in this case, as you see here, this is by milliliters, all right? So I go up, I find my meniscus. It's a little more than 140. It's about 141 milliliters, and that's my volume. 